Welcome to Spin Town, Spin Town, Creepers in the Blue and Gold. Spin Town, Spin Town, the Grim Reaper's gonna get your soul. In the cobble pit you get your soul, don't even try resisting in Spin Town. Spin Town! Welcome to Spin Town, everyone. I'm here for part three of my Making of Tabletop series I got going on here. <laughs> I have no idea how long the series is gonna go. Um, the building process of this map is done now, at least until it gets tested or the map developers say, we need you to change this, but the initial building phase is done. Um, I'm going to go through and show you the changes since the second video I made, showing you the progress as I go along. I think, I don't know if these symbols, the card symbols, were on the front of the map when I did this second video, but they're there now. There you go. And one thing you'll see immediately is now there's two sides to the map. Uh, Javier did, uh, used MC Edit and just copied the one side I finished, flipped it, and filled in the underground with uh, stone for me. Or at least he did most of it. I ended up doing some of it by hand. But yeah, so now there's two sides to the map since I finished the one side. The other side was able to be copied. Um, yeah, that's all filled in under there. There is a little bit of a troll on this level, and I hope the map developers let me keep it. <laughs> but yeah if you go into the perfection piece and you were to dig down wow you die as soon as you break one block it's only one thick right there um if you've played my parkour server or seen some of my other youtube videos you know i have issues with trolling i have trouble building things and not including at least one troll in them so that was my one troll it's not that big a deal i hope to the developers but we'll see um You'll see that the white pawn on this side of the map is a black pawn over there. And the blue timer over there is a yellow one over here. The Connect 4 board, which is new, because I was in the process of building that the last time you guys saw a video on this, is yellow over here. And that worked out really well because there's actually a yellow Connect 4 board and a blue Connect 4 board that has been sold over the years. And yeah, so... It just worked out good for the team colors on this map. And you even got the little game uh, checkers in the board. Nobody's won yet, though. There's no Connect 4 going on yet. This game is still in progress. Uh, stay tuned to see who wins. <laughs> but on the other side, even the little checkers are different colors. On the other side, it's black and yellow, I believe. I think. I forget. But they're different colors because the other colored board was actually had different colored checkers. So I stayed true to actually what they were when it came out. Um, yeah, let's see, what else has changed? The Scrabble piece that was laying flat over here is now stood up into the side of a hill. You'll notice that the terrain is a lot different. Uh, it's a lot more hilly and uneven, uh, random, natural, I guess. It has grass and flowers now. Um, and that's something Anthony suggested. He made a lot of suggestions when I showed him this uh, not too long ago. And I went through and I took his suggestions seriously. I, I made a lot of changes based on them. There is one thing I did not listen to him on, but I'll explain why in a little bit. But you'll notice that on this side, the yellow side, there's only yellow flowers and white flowers. And on the other side, the blue side, there's... Uh, white flowers and blue flowers and if you look at the patterns they're exactly the same the blades of grass are the, exactly the same on this side as that side the flowers are the same the only difference is the yellow flowers are on this side are white over here and the white flowers over there are blue over here but other than that exactly the same just different type flowers so it can distinguish the teams a little bit more uh, and their sides. Again, same thing with the Connect 4 board and even the hippo. The blue hippo over there is yellow over here. Uh, I, oh, here's another thing that distinguishes them uh, with the color, and that's new, is this little card right here. If you played Candyland, you know just from immediately looking at that, that's a card from Candyland. Uh, the one problem I have with it is, oh, look on this side, you see the squares too. And the reason... I have it like that is because I wanted to build it or build it small and if I made it this scale but put another layer of white on this side to hide those squares it just looked off you know it, it was too short and small to have it that thick and wide so yeah I went with the 
thin card that's less accurate, but yeah, it still works. You know what it is, and that's good enough, at least in my opinion it is. Uh, another one of the suggestions that Anthony made was the glass. He hates the regular glass in maps, and he just thinks it's ugly. And I kind of get his point on it. So he suggested using like white glass for the timer and the trouble piece and the marble that I had. Um, it works okay with the timer. I think it looks all right, uh, as he suggested. But when I changed the trouble popper to white glass, it just didn't look right. It just didn't look like a trouble popper anymore. So that's, and I think he would agree if he was to like see screenshots of them side by side. So I left this one as is. Um, the marble, I also changed to like a white glass because it was clear with like the feathering in the middle, that kind of a marble. But when I changed it to like a white glass, it didn't look right either. So I just decided to make it one of the solid marbles and just use different kinds of clay and make swirls. I don't know if most people would know that's a marble, but that's what it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the one thing right there I didn't really take Anthony's advice on. But again, I think he might agree with me if he was to see side-by-side -side comparisons. Um, another thing he suggested was I move this little teleporting pad. Um, it was right up front uh, on the very front of the map to move it back a little bit into the side, so I did that. Um, what other changes did he suggest? There might be more. Uh, if I think of it as we go, I'll mention it. But yeah, he, he gave a lot of feedback. Um, let's see. In here... Uh, this has changed a little bit. Uh, the last video, you didn't have the wall extend right here. And this the wool placement area was over here. And it kind of stuck out against the wall. So Anthony suggested I build out this wall a little bit and put it into the wall. Did that. I built this wall out a little bit more because I was worried about spawn camping. That's something they want you to take into consideration when you're building the map now. Uh, it's probably always like that. I don't know, but... I definitely wanted to pay attention to that with the new spawn camping rule that was taken out, I guess. So it's not a new spawn camping rule. They just got rid of the old spawn camping rule, but whatever. Um, you would spawn now looking kind of like in this direction, in this area right here. So nobody can shoot in and hit you if you were to spawn and go AFK, which you shouldn't do anyways. That's annoying as fuck, people. Just log out. You know, it helps your team more that way. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and also I want to make it to where the other team can't come into the spawn, so... There shouldn't be any spawn camping going on. You should be safe. Uh, the other thing that I finished inside the spawn area was the storage room down here. There's not going to be anything in here other than like just building material, though. Every chest is the same. The other side will have blue clay instead of yellow, obviously. Uh, the power-ups are, for the most part, the same, as you saw in the last video. The only real change, I think, is the fact that I made the bows, a lot of them, infinity with whatever other power-up they had and took out all those arrows that were in the chest. It's just a lot easier that way. Uh, people don't want to have, like, arrows, like, have to go collect arrows and somebody breaking the chest and all these areas and have just stuff go everywhere. It's just, you know, make it a few bows and have them in infin infinity enchantments. Just so much easier. Um, and plus, there's not that many, like, super power up or, like, super ultra op bows in this map. So there's, like, one punch two bow that you can find. I think there's maybe nine. Actually, there's probably more than that. There's probably a decent amount of power one bows in here, I think. Um, but I don't think those are infinity. I think those are the only ones that weren't infinity. Yeah. So there's a lot of power one bows, but that's not a huge power up. I think the punch is a pretty big power up. Because it's a map with a gap. So yeah, I didn't want to have very many of those. Up here you have the flame bows with infinities. But again there's only six of them. So it's not that big a deal I think to have infinity flame bows. Since there's so few of them. Um, let's see. I can't think of anything else that's changed at the moment. That I haven't mentioned. So I'm going to fly up to the spawn platform. Where you spawn before the game starts. And I'll show you what I've built for that. It's very simple. I, I don't like overly complicated things. It doesn't need to be overly complicated. I have a monument here so people can see immediately, hey, this is what i got to find and break. And there's Oh, there's a wool inside there. Okay, i, I got to remember to go inside and get that too. But this board right here, uh, I figured some people might be trying to like curious to what some of the game pieces were. They might see something as like, what the hell is this from? 
Well, if you go look at the board, you could probably figure it out. Um, on this board over here, you got the little chest there that shows you like the hidden power-ups that you can find in the map uh, in various places. So that gives them a little heads up that they can go look for stuff. Uh, I credited the person who built the hippo originally because I just ripped that build off. And I actually did ask permission if I could use his build in this map, and he totally agreed. I uh, seemed excited about it, so don't worry about that. You know, I got the guy's permission to use that. I'm not just going to rip him off, not give credit, and stuff like that. So I, I mentioned before this map was partly inspired by Ender Blast, so I put that up there. Uh, I mentioned the hidden Rubik's Cube that I mentioned in the last uh, video, and I think it'd be pretty cool if somebody got a kill with it, so I put that up on there. And careful where you dig, and that's a reference to that pit of death I showed you earlier. Uh, these uh, chests, again, still show you what you would spawn with. The only thing I think I've changed is now you start with 32 planks of wood. Uh, didn't have that in there before. I'm going to have everybody who helped with the building of this map up on this board, and you would spawn on this little area right here looking at that so there's me in the middle because i'm the map builder guy who came up with the idea um elmac he did some mc edit stuff for me eight bit hero did most of the world edit anthony gave feedback and you see this sign right here i need somebody to do the coding all the hard stuff yeah i need that uh so i need to try to find somebody to do that here soon something else that i changed that i just remembered is now you have these little wool indicators floating up in the air and those are going to be above build height so they won't be able to be broken by anybody but yeah if you're in a hurry to run over here and you notice oh somebody's already got the light gray wool now you can just look up in the air real quick and see okay i need to go to this side um, i know they're both gray but hopefully you can tell the difference between a light color and a dark color <laughs> so yeah anyways um i think that is it let me bring up my list real quick uh, oh, I got it all. Okay, sweet. So we're done. The next video um, about this map that you'll see is probably, hopefully, me working with somebody doing the coding. Uh, I'm sure that'll be exciting because I have no idea how to do that shit. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next Monday. All right, if you guys didn't get enough spin town for today, you can click on the top thumbnail to watch my latest interview with Beamba, or you can click on the bottom thumbnail to watch my latest music video. Remember, there's a brand new video here every single Monday, and if that Monday video gets 10 thumbs or 100 views by Thursday, I upload a bonus video on Friday. We'll end today's video with a clip from the Scotland Studios parkour course, which I built.